Greetings, friends. I'm coming to share some thoughts with you from God's holy word. And it's a passage in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, that I want to share with you. But first, let me go back. I recently had an interview with a young pastor. And during the interview, he was filming me. He said, Reverend, let me ask you this question. Are you afraid of dying? And without hesitation, I said, absolutely not. And he looked at me and he said, I kind of thought you were going to say that, but wh why do you feel that way? And I said, well, let me say this. 20 years ago, on May the 7th, 2004, I had a cerebral hemorrhage. I was paralyzed on my left side. I went to the hospital and from the emergency room up to ICU. And while I'm laying there in my ICU bed that first night, May the 7th, 2004, the pastor came in and said, listen, Reverend, if this thing bleeds out, this artery in your brain tonight, there's nothing we can do about it. And I immediately knew what he was talking about because I'd been a full-time hospital chaplain for two years. And I saw many people slip into comas and, and pass away. So I knew that night that there was a possibility that I would go to sleep and not wake up. And so Rivers left and we hugged and cried and so on and she left. And then that night, the Lord and I had a very serious uh, talk. And I, I, I joke about it. I said, I think confessed, I confessed every sin I committed and even sins I didn't commit because I wanted to make sure that I was in the right place with the Lord. So I knew the grace of God. I, I knew that by faith I was saved. But in that moment, when you're confronting death, maybe, it's a very sobering moment. And so I went to sleep that night and the next day when I woke up, I knew exactly how I felt. I was elated because I was persuaded that God loved me and that he had redeemed me. And so when that pastor said, are you afraid of death? You know, I'd, I'd processed that 20 years earlier. And look, I'm, I'm older and wiser now. And as you get closer to the end of your life, you understand that death is inevitable. The wages of sin is death. There's no way to escape that. But yet we are to be persuaded that God loves us and that he will not separate himself from us. Because on that cross, when Jesus died for our sins and rose to give us the gift of everlasting life, that was for you and, and for me who believe in Jesus Christ and by grace we're saved. And so it reminds me of a passage from Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. In fact, I used these two verses when I crafted my wedding vows with rivers because I wanted to use this as a biblical foundation for our marriage going forward that we would see each other and be persuaded of our love for each other as Christ is in love with us. And so I put these two verses in, in our wedding uh, vows. And I want to read it from the King James Version, the New King James Version. Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. It says, For I am persuaded, say that, persuaded, convinced, nothing, will ever be able to separate me from the love of God. Listen to the passage. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, not height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. When I read that, I, I hope it resonates in your spirit, the Holy Spirit that's in you, that you'll know and be absolutely persuaded that the love of God is there for you now and forever, and that nothing can separate you from that love of God in Christ Jesus crucified and risen for you. Look, I hope this has been helpful. And, and I truly want you to hang your hat on this passage going forward. That regardless of what's going on in your life, the world around you, your circumstance, that God is with you. And I want you to be persuaded that he loves you. I want you to be convinced that nothing can separate you from that love of God in Christ Jesus. That by faith in Jesus Christ, by grace, God will take you in his arms and walk with you now and forever, even into eternal life. You know, my hope for you is that you will have the, the, the absolute assurance, the blessed assurance of God's love for you. And more importantly, that nothing can separate you from that love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Look, if you want to reach out to me right now, hit the comment button. I'll, I'll get back to you. I get back to 
people every day when I get the comments or go to my website, paulteskyministries.com. Hit the prayer button if you want to send a prayer request. I get those from all over the world every day. Also, if you want to, uh, you know, send me a comment on my webpage, I'll get back to you. Also, you know, I have Instagram. I have over 400 teachings on my Paul Teske YouTube page that you can go to and track things. But listen, I'm doing this for one reason, because I want you to be persuaded that Jesus Christ loves you and be persuaded that nothing can separate you from that love of God in Christ Jesus. Amen? Listen, I hope this has been helpful. I want you to go in peace now, and I want you to serve the Lord. Amen? And all God's people said, Amen.